All right, I'm going to blast you with light and check. Yeah, I don't see any oil on my new skid plate, so that's kind of a good review on the skid plate. Skid plate kind of reminds me of my Chevy Prism. It's loud. It's kind of like adding an intake. Like a short ram <laughs> makes the car loud. And then if I look, yeah, oil gets on top of my skid plate. But maybe if I was in a proper rack, it wouldn't, because that looks like the hole actually is lined up pretty well with the skid plate and such. So that's cool. I didn't install it quite factory. I uh, put in extra two, all the washers on those two. I used washers, uh, and I didn't even use any washers on the bottom. The frame almost is touching. I wish it was farther apart, but Joe insisted I didn't do that that way. I did use their bolts completely. That's what I attached. But what I did is the original washers that came on the bike, I used a couple up front to do a little more distance, a little less noise, and it actually probably helped because the cutout from Ricochet, the Viap canister doesn't actually fit into, but at least it, um, at least it's held in tight with its rubber top and bottom. And wow, my bike is filthy, isn't it? All right, guys, trying to get my Ricochet redesign of this plate on, but it doesn't clearance. So I need to just shave a little away from the side here and it should fit. Safety gloves and hands. Got a carbide bit here. It's actually meant for uh, doing my port and polish, but let's see if it'll go on now. It, it's not their fault. I mean, you lose a little bit of distance sometimes when you weld things together, but sometimes that'd be better than if you cut then did this, but Ricochet actually added this on after Flatland made this, so it makes sense it wouldn't fit right to start. Let's see if it goes in now. One, two, two three, four. Welcome to the D.E. Nichols channel. Autobobotter.com. So magnet, and then fish. It does feel like it'll go on unlike before. So let's try it. So glad to have an air compressor again. I tried bending at first, but that didn't really work. I'm drilling space for it now, we'll see. How are you drilling? Using my carbide bird for porting and polishing. You're drilling it while it's on site? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's plenty of distance between. Yeah, that magnet keeps hooking on to extra stuff, doesn't it? How's your new pump working? Perfect. I didn't have one of the right ends to it, so I made it work. Oh, I think that'll go right in. If you can try, I... Watch, hold on. Your 
sinking. Beautiful. Thank you. I think. No. Nope. I think we just need a little bit more. Grind out. I don't know. I can't see what's going on over there, man. You want me to try from over there? Or when I look at it from over here, it's just not quite ground enough. It's really close, but not quite. I thought you were going to get a drill and just drill out a little bit. Ah! I could drill it, but this works. Are you getting one? Yeah, it grinds oh. away instantly. Yeah. The carbide bird works a lot better than a drill. Looks, it feels perfect now. I know I said that before, but I really think it's perfect. Yes, no, a little bit more. Hold on, man. You, you gotta tell from that side, you can't tell from here. Fair enough. And my thought is almost. So if we pull on it just right, maybe it'll go together. So what I was thinking was to... Yeah, it's barely not going in again. Here, David. Yeah. I'm gonna save you some time. Yeah. Just trust me, okay? Okay. Uh, Give me your tool. Me. Give me your grinding tool. Cut on the outside, not the inside, right? What do you mean? Oh, you're right, the inside, okay. Put it on a little higher. Which one is high? They both say low and low. Towards the center is higher, oh. is what that means. <coughs> well, it might be too fast now. <coughs> gotcha, holy fuck, what a difference. Yeah. Let me get a piece of fabric. It's yeah. probably enough. Let me get the other side and, and just put it on once. You know what I mean? That means you're not squeezing it far enough. Go for it. Probably do the same before we put the bottom. Let's just take it off. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's stop being ridiculous here. You know Agreed. what I mean? Agreed. Mind if I do it? No. <laughs> Thanks. Just rewind it. Yeah, it'll work. Oh. Hold the rag to give you a... Uh, carefully you don't get caught up with them. You want more? You That's good. Should we set these before we get all that fancied up? Yeah. Oh yeah, not bad. Let me see the bottom ones too. Almost. Uh, these might not be the best idea for in there. Let's let's just have them upside down then. But then we don't need to put them on yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, screw. 
I need to find one too. I'm on the hole, but you can uh, get yours going and then I'll get mine going. Can't even. If you can't see, I'll start this one and I'll switch. Yeah. Too shorter this time? Oh, yeah. Why does it got this big washer on here, not the lock washer? Oh, here. Take that one. Yeah, that's an original bolt to the Yamaha. We need to keep those. Reaches, huh? Yeah. Alright. Here's my piece. Where's that bolt? Better head. Mine's not started. Started. And now I got room, see? Now you got room. So can you finagle that bolt? You know what I mean? It feels like it still doesn't want to go in. But it's not because of the space from the skid plate for a change. Let me come over there and try it, dude. Let me hold it together so we don't lose the washer. Started. All right, let's see if we can get the bottom. The bottom. Do they at least line up the oil hook pan? Good. But. But what? You know what, man? I, I don't even know if I would put these in there. What do you mean? Well, we could go with the Yamaha black ones. No, forget the color. What I'm saying is, like, there's gonna be enough stress from that on there, onto here. You know what I mean? Well, it looks like, it feels to me like it's going to hit the frame if we don't use the spacer. Think so? I think so. And there's just enough space. If we use the magnet, we can set it. Do you see the magnet? I do not. I got it. got it in. I did. Good. Hand over the magnet. Before you start tightening. Just hold. Because yep. you need the space to get your slit in too, huh? Which way do you have yours? Okay, um, like yeah. I got it. Though honestly, upside down on what I've got, it makes more sense. Uh, you got to pull down on that. Okay. I'm pulling down. Okay, hold on. Slide those washers in. Catch it with the bolt underneath. I'm in. Okay, now I can see if I can hit a hole. This is yours reach. It needs to get compressed back more. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the same thing. We could just drop these and pull out the hole a little bit in that direction. Hold on. Because I am using a round bit that will get around the corner. This is why I bought it for doing the back side of the... Why don't the, you just hit it while in place? Hit it while it's in place. Agreed. Because I need I need to egg out the front, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to hit that spacer. we got to get the spacer out. Okay. I got it. Got it. Jeez. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. That's why it's jumping. Get it just a little bit lower, and then I should get control of it again. 
to a little bit lower and then perfect. Well, slightly too low because now we have no power. <laughs> All right? Okay. Get the whole egg, you know what I mean? So we could drop the things in it and everything. I think it'll fit now. I was wondering whether to use my 120 or zero. I'm really glad I used the 120. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to work at all now that we're on the bottom. Okay. Thank goodness for glasses. Maybe a little more, just in case. Okay, let's see if it goes now. Now that my arms are covered in metal. <laughs> Here, give me, where's my bolt? It's okay, I got you. And then give me the magnet, and then I'll switch you. Is it going to go into the hole now? Or no. Is it still going to sit? Up? Oh, I don't know if you went in the right direction, man. That's why I said to egg out the whole thing. Well, let's loosen so I can get the magnet out and then we can go on. There we go. Okay. I think I have one of the old screws instead of one of the new screws. I don't think it's going to go in. Do you have another one somewhere? Or I could switch to black. No, you need the, the one from the kit. Black will reach. Black's better. Black's better because it doesn't need the uh, washer. Why doesn't this one need the washer? Because the nut's designed with a washer inside, basically. That's what that's what all manufacturers do. So you don't need as many. I can't see from the side though. Let me go get the hex so we can all install. So chain of events. Buy a skid plate for your motorcycle. You can't install said motorcycle unless you bought an air compressor. Oh that one fell out. It's, there's, whoa, this one. But we needed to chase this out more, man. You know what I mean? Well, I don't have my washer in it fell out. This went into the thing. That might be better for vibration anyway. And if I'm wrong, we can always flip it over. I think we're going to need to flip it over, dude. Can you pop it out? Not without this magnet. Like, yeah, it's... Well, it was popped out. It must have fell back in. There you go. There, I pushed it out so the magnet can catch it. Awesome. There you go. And now, I'm wondering where the other washer went. Thank you. Uh, oh, do you want to slide yours in first? No, 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 no. I just thinking because we didn't. This thing is so unsquare. Okay, so on this one, I need to A, get more on, can't quite tell. Looks like it needs to move back more. It, mine needs to go back. 
Can we double check so yours? This one. I already checked it. That's what I've been tracking. All right, then we're going to go back. I can grab you one. Yeah, maybe. Here's hoping. Give me a second. Pull that down for me for a sec. Yeah. No further. I think you got to go a little farther. And I think deeper. you got to turn this around now. Is it back far enough? It still looks crooked. It is still crooked. Hold yeah. on. I know I wouldn't be able to get in. Boom, I'm in good. Okay, let's see if I can get in too. I think I'm in good. I don't know. It looks slightly crooked, like we need egg just a bit more. Or I just need a push. No. But then I can't start mine. Yeah, hold on. You know what we gotta do? We gotta tighten these down. Because that'll push it back. What size? Ten. Here. See where we're at now. All right. Whoa. Too far? No, that doesn't give us much space to put the things but in. You know what it does? Yeah, my washer is in the wrong spot. Man, we're in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Let's just put a washer underneath. Put this, and then the washer. Do you have the fourth one? Do you have the fourth one of these? No. Where'd it go? I don't know. There you go. Well, if we put the black ones in the bottom, it doesn't need the washer at the bottom. But what, because we elongated the hole, it kind of, I'm telling you, it'll it will help with everything. Oh, because it goes into the hole. This, this is going to help with everything. Problem is I don't have any more washers. I see three washers. I mean the tiny one. So we lost that too. So that's probably in the rocks here. So hold on. Found it. Well, I think I need to back this off because otherwise I'm going to have a washer sitting in there get lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. Here, so let's unscrew this. Give me a second. I'll help you pull that down. Ready? Give me one second. Ready? Can you get it? Uh, almost. Hold on. Uh, I need something to push Here. and then magnet out. Okay, now I need a magnet. Cause I got it unstuck. Yeah, I got it out. Is the other? Oh, wrong direction. Right. 
feels all right. It feels a little off. Nope, oh, that feels better. Yeah, it feels good. Final bit by hand. So I can fill when they're in good. Boom. Good. Everything seems in legit place, dude. Oh, in the meantime, you know what? I've never noticed before there's a sensor at the bottom of the engine right now. That's alright. I don't like the way that the, it did your that add-on piece any justice. Oh, the for the EVAP canister? Yeah, but I don't see this being an easy process whatsoever. Yeah, it's the EVAP Around it is way big this way. I mean, it's snug in the back, but up front there's all this space for no good reason. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a trumpet to get the sound out. Because they complain a lot on the non-California plate about the sound. Maybe it won't be so bad for mine if air, uh, if stuff's jutting out the front. Yeah, no, that's nice. It protects your water pump real nice. Yeah, the water per that's way better than a little piece of plastic barely touching it. Yeah. Yeah, it protects a lot, dude. $125 insurance against a $1,200 motor. I'm just going to have to re-coat the metal right there. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get a paint marker. You'll see that the original one was just simple plastic. I still have the bolts so I could restore it in case I sold it. And I used a couple of the couple of these tall washers and that's probably why I had to drill out the bottom because these tall washers up front brought the plate forward even without these I might have had to do that I know up top I definitely had to drill so that it would come across maybe when Ricochet took that um, skid plate from another company and added the evap section uh, they got a little bending in the weld and made it so that it didn't quite fit. So I had to use a lot of grinding. In fact, until I bought this, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Crazy, right? And then we've got these lovely tools here. I used this to clean it up. I was actually looking for this one, but this is probably the better choice. I bought these for porting engines, but I've occasionally ground metal down a little bit with it. And I have learned that either this was set too high, and it kind of is, I haven't figured out how to... I've tried to turn it down, but it didn't seem to really work. Um, I, I'll have to play with that. Okay, I like this Vapor from Duralast. I mean, it didn't hold up to 90 days of professional use, and AutoZone didn't want to warranty it. They wanted Vapor too, and a Vapor rep had to get on the phone and tell them, hey, give them another one, because uh, we don't have any rebuild kits. They didn't at the time, anyway. Vapor, Vapor was trying to stand by their 90-day warranty. Um, but this one feathers down really nice. This Harbor Freight one, I can't run it slow. And if you notice, uh, straight in line means it's running at full power. And if you go left or right of that, it's like blocking the flow. But if you block any more flow, it doesn't run at all. Um, it just goes psst. Okay. And... Um, this was going too fast. There's no way I could port an engine because it was chittering. So I don't think the 120 angle is going to work for me from Harbor Freight anyway. Maybe even my zero degree will. Um, but this guy, this guy's really good at going slower. So I'd love to try it for porting. Because that's why I have these tools, even though I end up using them for other stuff. But yeah, if you have the speed too high, it chitters off. And that's what was happening in that video.
only had my bike parked for 10 seconds. It's already been mauled by that. Okay, it's a plant.